Well, the wildfires in California uh, threatening homes in both the northern and southern parts of the state. Crews believe at least five people have died in northern California. Down south, entire towns are said to be on fire. Fox News correspondent Ray Bogan reports from Ventura County. Firefighters across the Golden State are fighting several infernos, and two here in Southern California are forcing evacuations and causing significant damage. The fast-moving Woolsey Fire is driving thousands of people from their homes in Southern California. Flames exploded overnight, jumped the 101 freeway, and triggered new, urgent evacuations. We put people's lives at risk, especially all of our first responders, when we don't get out in time. The blaze is getting an extra boost from strong Santa Ana winds, gusting at more than 50 miles per hour, pushing the fire into steep, rugged terrain. Rolling hills and mountains make certain areas difficult to fight by ground. The fire is also burning in Thousand Oaks, the same city where a gunman killed 12 people at the borderline barn grill Wednesday. Residents say it's been a difficult few days. The uh, shooting was really terrible, obviously, and, uh, and this nice house is gone, and that one's gone, and one over there is gone. Up north, crews are trying to push back against another blaze, one that quickly quadrupled in size. Burnt out cars sit in front of blackened homes gutted by the flames and intense heat. Residents in the town of Paradise say the fire has seemingly engulfed their entire community. I know when we go back, if it's still there, God willing, that that house is going to be filled with smoke. This area of Southern California has seen minimal rain, so the very dry ground and strong winds are only making these fires stronger. In Ventura County, Ray Bogan, Fox News.